Today I will be creating a neuron using garden stems, a marshmallow, a McDonald's coffee lid, rolled up tiny pieces of paper, and some more garden stems. So, let's walk through it. First, we have the dendrites. The dendrites are responsible for receiving information from other neurons. And they look something like this. There we go. Next, we have the sonoma. The sonoma is responsible for processing information and it is a cell of the body, but it also contains the nucleus. The nucleus is going to be put right here, like so. I'm going to put it right there. The next structure I'm going to talk about is the axon. The axon is a tube that transmits information to the other neurons. I'm going to place these little garden stems acting as a millennial sheep. The millennial sheep insulates material, allowing a much faster action potential. Without the millennium sheet, the action potential will be much slower than it would be if it did have a millennium sheet. Next, we have the nods and the terminal buttons. The terminal buttons act as a messenger for the next neuron. I'm going to use these little toilet paper. And roll them up and place them around like little buttons. So here we have the dendrites receiving information, the sonoma processing the information, the axon transmitting the information, and the terminal buttons acting as a messenger to send to the next neuron, and the millennial sheath allowing the action potential to be much faster. That is my neuron structure.